Arm Anatomy 101. To start off, we have the deltoid. The deltoid wraps around the cap of your shoulder and is gonna help you lift the arm in a variety of directions. You also have the biceps brachii. We know what that does, what's it do? It flexes the arm. Underneath the biceps brachii is the brachialis. You can see that from both sides. That is also gonna flex the arm, but that one is really gonna flex the arm with a hammer curl position when your arm is slightly pronated. On the back side of the upper arm, we have the triceps. We know what the triceps does. Extends the elbow, but it also extends the arm at the shoulder. Here, you can also see the third tricep is this little guy right here. So we have the two heads and then the little head back. For the lower arm, we have the brachioradialis right here, the beefy muscle in the lower arm. It is gonna help flex the arm along with the biceps and the brachialis. Then we have the pronator teres. It pronates the arm. So being prone is like lying flat on the floor. So it's pointing it down toward the floor. Then we have the flexor carpi radialis. It is going to flex the forearm along with the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi ulnaris. Now the flexor carpi radialis and ulnaris do a little bit of opposite action. So the radialis is gonna pull your thumb outward. The ulnaris is gonna pull your pinky inward. So adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction. On the back side of the lower arm, we have the extensor digitorum, which extends the four digits, your fingers. Then we have the anconius. The anconius is a little muscle here that will work with the triceps as you extend the elbow. That's all we have painted here. There's a lot of other muscles missing. Uh, now you know that stuff. 